Halo 4 Flighting next week for PC and Xbox, as well as some Halo Infinite armor customization and coatings we get a chance to check out as well. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Listen to me now and want to see some more content like this. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So we have two awesome bits of news for you guys today. We have the content that's going to be in Halo 4's flighting process, like the levels and maps and all the other features with that, as well as some Halo Infinite armor customizations that we see as well. Now, if you're here for the whole thing, enjoy the video. If you're here for just the MCC or if you're just for the Halo Infinite, check out the timestamps in the video description down below. Now as we do every Friday, we get a Halo MCC development update and since Postums is out on vacation right now, Sketch has been doing them recently and he posted up one just on Friday giving us a little bit of details of what to expect for Halo 4's fighting process and when it will it be coming. Currently it's still in the Ring 1 and 2 processes, still encountering some blockers and delays that would move it to Ring 3 being the Halo Insiders. Now Sketch does mention in this blog post that the new features that they look in the flight in this Halo 4 flight as well uh, might be pushed back as it's been causing some issues uh, essentially because crossplay, input-based matchmaking, and server region selection are all like this tight-knit bundle together that they're gonna have to release all at once and what it sounds like it may have to be pushed back to a mid-flight patch kind of thing, so it might be coming out like a week after this Halo 4 flight comes out, which honestly for MCC might be a great thing to go about doing it because obviously you want people to test out the Halo 4 content and make sure that all works, and then next week release your input-based matchmaking crossplay and server region selection so people get to focus on that, so you get a chance to utilize the same player base and also get the chance to, you know, have a good amount of people playing the content. Talking about a good amount of people playing the content, if you want to play this flight, you can. Just sign up for the Halo Insider. They're literally going to be inviting everyone to play this because they need all these people because they did see a bit of a downturn in participation with the ODST flight and it was definitely shown because the matchmaking was basically unplayable because there was just not enough people playing. Well, they're going to invite everyone and I mean everyone. So if you've never been in the flight, you want to take part of it, sign up today. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can guys get a chance to follow through the process. It's pretty straightforward. And also if you've updated your PC since the last time you played this flight, make sure you update your profile on there as well so they can get the proper specs for your PC as well. And for those who participate in this Halo 4 flighting process, you get the Halo Insider nameplate. Now that I know there was one previously, but this might be the better looking one because this is a clean looking nameplate that's very easy to tell. Insider, you're a special guy who helps out with Halo. So if you guys want to get that nameplate, you have to play this flight. So that's the catch. So jump in and do it. Sign up guys. Trust me, you're going to have a good time. Now this isn't 100% confirmed written in stone, but they are still targeting an end of next week to kick off the flight process to get the chance to finally finish off the MCC to finish the fight. And it looks like they added in a new feature with this. They mentioned the, the different features that they're looking to flight for here. They have input-based matchmaking and crossplay and server region selection, advanced video graphics options for PC only. I know like your typical FOV sliders and enhanced graphics, things like that. Uh, text chat availability, the ability to turn it on and off, and also text chat moderation. Unless Sketch mistyped something here, we haven't seen anything about moderation, which is something I would really like to see. I actually like having text chat on, but the amount of vile grossness that people say to each other online is quite annoying and I don't want to see that. So if I can find a way to moderate the chat by having some, you know, certain words that are taken out or muted or asterisked out or something like that, then that would be perfect. Because I don't think anyone's asking for the ability to turn off the chat. I think most people are just asking the ability to at least have some form of moderation so then it doesn't ruin their gameplay experience. And now into the content, guys. So we have Halo 4's campaign. They've confirmed that Requiem, Forerunner, Reclaimer, Shutdown, and Composer are going to be the missions you will be able to play for the Halo 4 campaign content, as well as the campaign playlist content of just Canyon Combat. Now, the playlist one is more just kind of making sure you can hop in play the content and hop out. That's kind of the main thing. So that's why there's only one mission involved with that. We also have Halo 4 Spartan Ops content. Uh, there's a long list of maps here. We have Departure, Land Grab, Sniper Alley, The Challenge, Scarred, Core, Artifact, 
Cleanup for Science, Hackshaw, Pelican Down, and Gagarin, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm not super well versed in Halo 4 sparring ops. I did try doing it for a video and I just couldn't do it because I got bored. But hopefully the cutscenes are going to be tied with this because that's kind of like the juicy dessert that comes with having to eat your vegetables by playing the sparring ops. Uh, so hopefully that's going to be involved with it as well. We have Halo 4 multiplayer content as well. We have the maps of Adrift, Exile, Haven, Longbow, Meltdown, Ragnarok, Impact, Landfall, Skyline, Perdition, and Pitfall. Keep in mind also with this fight, they'll be testing out Season 4 content as well, which will be bringing in some new Reach armor sets like Axis, as well as the very prestigious GRD helmet and its coming variants as well. Now for the Halo Infinite news. Yes, we guys, we have a full render of a multiplayer Spartan available for you to take a view at. So let's check it out right here on the recent community update. Unicheck posted this up here, guys. This is like some actual Halo Infinite content. Yes, we got it. It's crazy. I know. And this look at this armor set, guys. This thing just looks so cool. It kind of reminds me of like a mix between like Halo Reach and Halo 5 in a way, but the good parts of both. And it just looks so clean. It looks so awesome. Like the helmet kind of reminds me of like a mix of like Noble Six's helmet and like an ODST helmet kind of thrown together. Like it just looks so cool. Now you look at this purple and gold kind of coloring. You get this armor coating from buying Chips Ahoy. Yeah, you go on, you buy some Chips Ahoy, you type in the code, you get the armor skin to it as well. That's pretty awesome. And there's gonna be, apparently there's gonna be multiple of these as well. There's different food items. You can get different kinds of nameplates. You can get different kinds of emblems as well. Now I know a lot of people kind of brought this up as some kind of concern, putting these behind paywalls and things like that. I think these are more just kind of limited time special offer kind of things. In game, I feel like there's still gonna be ways to kind of progress through and unlock your different kinds of armor colorings and things like that. Uh, people kind of mentioned about how it being like a destiny style uh, shaders kind of thing. You might see something along those lines, honestly. Uh, but a lot of people say, oh, like one-time use shaders like in Destiny. I don't think it's gonna be one-time use. I think you buy it, you or you obtain it in some way, and it's yours for the rest of the game. Now, after seeing this, the community went ahead and did some awesome different kind of customizations, which obviously some of them might be kind of, you know, maybe not popular or possible really with uh, Halo Infinite, but these colorings that they have, though, for many of these are very possible to be like what you would see in game. But I definitely want to show these off to you guys as well. Like Clover right here posted up a blue and red version of the same armor set. I mean, looks pretty freaking awesome to me right there. And then I remember the community did like a gold and black version, which just looks so good, guys. And then they also, for the fun version, they did like a Nintendo 64 themed coloring as well behind it, which is like, this is something that I would probably see happen within Halo Infinite. Maybe not the N64 version, but like the gold and black one, definitely. I could totally see that happening. Uh, another member of the community did this one, which I think is the most feasible one we could possibly see. It was like a red and black, and then also a red and white one as well. And this last one I wanted to show off, just kind of a cool like brown and gr darker kind of olive green kind of like army kind of feel to this one as well. Looks super awesome. Something I think would be super feasible to happen within Halo Infinite. Plus that red and white one just looks so clean. Keep in mind there's also the monster promotion as well for the different weapon coatings as well. Make sure you guys buy yourself enough of that for your double XP boost as well. On top of getting your codes for the battle rifle skin, the handgun skin, and the various other weapons as well. I also just want to say to 343 that like yeah we understand that there's a lot of things you can't show right now when it comes to halo infinite there's a lot of things that are work in progress but you know when we say we want content to be able to you know report on talk about this is the kind of stuff we're talking about not that we don't need to like see everything with the game but just give us like little bits like hey this is halo infinite just a little bit of the game that i think would be kind of cool to show off that's all we really need right now until we actually get a release date with like a full reveal probably for like the multiplayer and stuff like that and honestly probably a re-reveal of the uh campaign as well to show the different kinds of improvements that were done if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to tap that like button it really helps out the video check out the videos on the screen right over here got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out